everyone, my name's Hales, and today we are gonna be doing a science demonstration with things that you can easily find at home. Today we're gonna be making a lava lamp and exploring the concepts of carbonation and density. The things you'll need are really simple ingredients. You'll need some oil, I'm using vegetable oil. You'll need some water, fancy beaker is not required, but if you have one, it'll make you feel more like a scientist. You'll need a clear glass, some food coloring if you want, and some antacid. This is a stomach medicine that is best for nasal congestion, runny nose, sore throat, headache, body ache, sinus pressure, and lava lamps. All right, so first what we're gonna do is we are going to explore what exactly an antacid does when it comes in contact with water. So I'm gonna open this up and grab a little tab here. We're gonna place the tab in my little dish and I have a little pipette. If you don't have a pipette at home, don't worry about it. You can just pour water in. And I'm just gonna pipette some water on top of this antacid so you can see what happens. Are you ready? Make some observations about what you see happening. If you look closely, you can see that there are bubbles coming out of the antacid. It's sort of fizzing like your soda when you open up a soda. That fizz is made up of a gas called carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide is the same gas that comes out when you pop that soda and hear that fizzing sound. All right, so now the question is, it's making lots of bubbles in this really shallow dish, but what will happen if we put it in a larger glass with water, like it is now, and oil? So, we've got our carbonation, now let's work with our density. To start out, I'm gonna add some color to the water because everyone loves a colorful experiment. Drop as much color in as you want. I tend to like it more colorful than not. So I got a nice, pretty cherry red. Let's give it a little bit more here. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna move this out of the way. And we're just gonna pour some water into our glass. Maybe pour it like a third of the way, a fourth of the way, whatever makes you happy. And then after that, before we put in the antacid, we're gonna put in some oil. Now the interesting thing about oil is that oil is less dense than water. That means that the molecules that make up the oil are less closely packed together, so it floats on top of water. Watch this. I'll pour it in really carefully. And if you look really closely, you'll see as it's pouring in, some bubbles of oil are forming, and then they're rising up to the top. Because oil is less dense than water, it just sits right on top of water. So we're gonna fill this all the way up to the surface. Gently. Almost there. Maybe not all the way up to the surface. You do have to pour this out later. Very close to the surface. And if you can, let it settle so that all of the water is where the water should be and all the oil is where the oil should be. You'll see some of these bubbles of water are slowly going back down to join the rest of the water. Now here's the fun part. Grab a tab of antacid. I'm gonna break my antacid in half and put it in um, just slowly. And so we know that antacid causes bubbles in water but what will the bubbles do with water and oil? Let's find out. Are you ready? Three, 
two, one. All right, so we can see some bubbles forming on that antacid and the bubbles are going all the way up in the oil. Oh, you can see some red bubbles. That means that some of the bubbles that are rising are actually carrying water with them. So you have bubbles of carbon dioxide holding water with them and rising to the top. And then as the carbon dioxide escapes into the atmosphere, the water sinks right back down to join the rest of the water. And there's your lava lamp. Pretty groovy. This will keep on going for a while. And then as soon as all of the antacid is dissolved, just drop in another tab, see what happens. And there you have it. A pretty cool, easy lava lamp that you can do at home. Thanks everyone for joining. Have a wonderful rest of your day.